So if they make a choice to rock with you and be down with you, let them live in them choices. If they make a choice to be like, I'm not going to support them, but I deal with him. You just classify it the right way because all this shit in life is about levels. You just got to know where to put people, where to place people. You can love them and still not put them in a certain place because sometimes the people we love won't be the people we need to do certain things. You know what I mean? Because they might not want to do that. I told somebody before, you know, stop talking about what you won't do and talk about what you will do. My main man, Kenny, lounging, you know what I'm saying? And that ATL, what's good, man? You talking about some game shit, man. What's good? Well, you know, man, you know, my man was talking to me and I was explaining to him because he got a, a woman that uh, watched him grow and enhance his life and she didn't quite partake in that. So he um, was having a clothing event and he invited, you know, a couple of the women that helped him put this together and there was a little riff about it you know so when he came to me I was explaining to him that it was okay that yo you had your chick but you also had the chicks that helped you manifest your dream no doubt even though people criticize him oh you shouldn't have did that you shouldn't have did that because you cannot cheat the game what's the game the game of life is just being real with what it is. Um, when people help you, you help them. You don't be like, okay, people help you manifest your dream. And because you have somebody that didn't help you, you neglect the people that helped you. You're cheating. You know what I'm saying? There, and this is why there's a, um, like being honorable, you know, like, hey, man, these people helped me get this ball down the court. But now that I got the ball down the court, somebody that didn't help me, I'm going to act like they was ill all the time and I'm okay. going to give them the shine. For the young people, man, because you, you're talking about the game. Where you get this game from? Who wrote the game? You gave the game? Who you get the game from? Well, the truth is, you know, I might call it the game, but there's some simple things, right? Don't play fear where they cheating and don't cheat where they playing fear. Mm. And when you make certain decisions in life, you have to let people live in the choices that they made when they was with you, you know what I'm saying? So if she chose not to help you while she was with you and you still got the help, she can't all of a sudden act like she was the help. Mm. Other people was the help. So just being an honorable person, you acknowledge the people that helped you. Because if you don't acknowledge the people that help you, they turn into people that won't help you. And the person that didn't help you will be the person that won't help you because they was able to get away without helping you and still get the shine. So it's very simple. You have to be honorable in the choices that you make. And when people make choices, you let them live in them choices. So if they make a choice to rock with you and be down with you, let them live in them choices. If they make a choice to be like, I'm not going to support them, but I deal with him. You just classify it the right way because all this shit in life is about levels. You just got to know where to put people, where to place people. You can love them and still not put them in a certain place because sometimes the people we love won't be the people we need to do certain things. You know what I mean? Because they might not want to do that. I told somebody before, you know, stop talking about what you won't do and talk about what you will do. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Because no energy has to be dispersed to do nothing. Mm. But the energy has to be dispersed to do something. So you got to really understand that if a person will create an energy and an action to help you, they're doing something. But you listen to those people. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You know what? Listen to what they say. Mm. But don't let it stop you from what you got to do. Because you always have to handle what you got to handle. You could love her. You could love him. But you got to do what you got to do. Because you don't want to play the life game and have a bunch of regrets when you win your silver and winter years. Because guess what? They say 40 is midlife. If you live to 80. Mm. But what if you don't? What if you at 50? 
And I've been seeing it's hard for people to get out of their 50s. It's just different. So the game of life has to be played and understood by the participants that's in it and the participants that you choose to be in it. So everybody be conscious of their role and their position and living in the choice that they make. And I'll say once again, if you didn't come to help and there's balloons being given out, don't expect one. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. So, man, to my man Wise, man, I had to drop, man, because he had to ask me about the G-A-M-E, and that's what it is. So this is Kenny Green that I'm interviewing, the scientist of the game, and that's the game. For sure. My man.